Welcome back. In the realm of biographical films, One Life Stands Tall as a poignant exploration of the extraordinary life of Sir Nicholas Winton, who helped rescue hundreds of children from the Nazis. The movie, directed by James Hawes, has received mixed, although mostly positive, early critic reviews. In this video, I delve into the prominent themes from those reviews and give you the current consensus on the film. Let's start with Sir Anthony Hopkins' performance. Undoubtedly, the gravitational force within One Life is his magnetic performance. Critics unanimously lord Hopkins for a remarkable portrayal that elevates the film's impact. Hamish McBain from the London Evening Standard, for example, proclaims that it is unquestionably Hopkins' film. These sentiments echo across reviews, with his performance being labelled as larger than life, dignified, and the film's driving force. Now, the narrative structure of One Life has been both a beacon of praise and a point of contention among critics. Ehenulo from Empire Magazine criticises the film for adhering to over-familiar story beats and a safe execution that, in her view, inhibits the film from reaching its full potential. On the other hand, Daniel Goodwin of Hey You Guys commends the film for its well-structured screenplay and adept storytelling. This dichotomy in opinions may reflect the challenge of balancing historical accuracy with engaging storytelling which is a common balance to strike well in biographical films. Indeed, Anne Kit Jundran Weller of In Review Online points out that audiences might find value in the film, but suggests exploring alternative works about Sir Nicky in his, and his humanitarian deeds. Let's turn to the views about the film's emotional impact. It's a movie that you will need to bring a box of tissues to, or an onion to cut up at the end as an excuse for your tears. Multiple critics have emphasise the film's emotional impact. As a couple of examples, Manuel Salbento of Phantom Wire highlights the film's emotional spectrum, noting it is packed with devastating, bittersweet moments and concludes with a powerfully cathartic ending. And Sarah Knight Adamson of Sarah's Backstage Pass praises the film for a fantastic job in portraying historical events but can still leave the audience emotionally moved. Conversely, Katie smith Wrong of Flick Feast offers a more tempered perspective, noting that the drama can come across as rushed with mixed performances. As the last few notes, the ensemble support cast receive mostly positive reviews. The film's visual and directorial aspects likewise receive both acclaim and criticism. Benjamin Lee of The Guardian acknowledges the film might feel like a BBC TV drama at times, but commends it for building towards a last act of towering emotion. Sophie Monks Kaufman from Indie Meyer similarly praises the undeniably moving nature of the narrative, but criticises the film's bid for consistent quality, citing a ridiculously, quote, on the nose script. So, while some critics appreciate the film's emotional peaks, others argue that its visual and narrative execution falls short of achieving a consistent and high quality cinematic experience. In conclusion, One Life is a generally well received cinematic journey that navigates historical storytelling, emotions, and performances. Anthony Hopkins' magnetic portrayal of Sir Nicholas Winton undoubtedly steals the spotlight and is supported by a talented ensemble cast. The film's narrative and visual execution, however, draws both praise and critique. For viewers seeking an emotional exploration of historical events with a stellar central performance, One Life is a compelling choice this holiday season. However, for those prioritising original storytelling and consistent cinematic quality, the film's adherence to familiar beats and occasional shortcomings in direction may be factors to consider. Let me know your view on the film in the comments below and hit that like button if you've enjoyed this review. Till next time, bye for now.